Einstein's brain was stolen hours after his death, sparking a bizarre journey to uncover the secrets of his genius. Pathologist Thomas Stoltz Harvey, tasked with performing Einstein's autopsy in 1955, took it upon himself to remove and keep the physicist's brain without permission. His aim? To dissect the organ in hopes of discovering what made Einstein one of the greatest minds in history. This clandestine act set off a decades-long quest, as Harvey secretly dissected the brain into 240 blocks, preserving them in cell hoiding. For years, Harvey kept Einstein's brain hidden, even losing his medical license in the process. Yet, he remained undeterred, sending fragments to various scientists, hoping for groundbreaking insights. Researchers found unusual features, like a higher density of neurons and unique folding patterns, sparking debates about the biological roots of genius. But the ethics of this unauthorized examination raised even more questions, overshadowing the scientific intrigue. Einstein's family, unaware of the theft for years, was understandably outraged. Yet, they eventually granted reluctant permission for continued research, hoping it could yield valuable knowledge. Despite the controversy, the saga of Einstein's brain captivated public imagination, intertwining science, ethics, and a touch of the macabre. Today, the remnants of Einstein's brain reside in the Mutter Museum in Philadelphia, a testament to a strange chapter in scientific history. While the quest for understanding genius through brain dissection might not have yielded definitive answers, it underscores our enduring fascination with the mind's mysteries and the lengths to which we might go to unravel them.